Jamie and Elizabeth are convinced that life would be better if they had bigger breasts like Sarah and Deborah do. So we decided to have them switch breast cup sizes for a day. Check it out. I want you to walk a day in my shoes. I want you to tape down your breasts and go, go to the bar and see how many guys look at you. That's when I decided it was time for these girls to trade breasts and spend the rest of the day wearing each other's cup size. by giving Elizabeth and Jamie padded bras and external silicone breast enhancers to increase their size. Oh, good God. Almost instantly, the girls radiated a new confidence. <laughs> yep, I like it. I can live with this. That's cool. Oh, look. I love it. 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 I feel like a woman. And in the other room, we applied bandages to reduce Deborah and Sarah's breast sizes. See, I look fatter because you aren't distracted by my breast. Do you see more of my butt and more of my stomach because you're not focusing on the girls? It's just different. I've never not had boobs. It's just weird. I feel, I feel ambiguous. I don't feel as feminine. I feel a little more masculine and maybe a little bit like a lesbian. And now, meet the newly enhanced Deborah and Jamie. And the newly reduced Elizabeth and Sarah. We've seen these ladies go through an amazing transformation in our trading cup sizes experiment. Now let's see what happened when they took their new bodies out on the town for a shopping spree. We decided to put Elizabeth and Jamie's new breast sizes to the test and see what it's like to go shopping. And before they knew it, their new breasts opened up a new world of shopping possibility. Normally when I shop, I do have to worry about what will make me look flat chested, what won't, and I don't really have that problem with these new boobies, so it's all right. I like this because it's really low and it's gonna show off. <laughs> I've never had that much cleavage before, like, no space whatsoever. It stays up. Because it boobs. When it came time for Deborah and Sarah to start shopping, it was a reminder of their new flat breasts. I don't feel very feminine. I feel like I look when I played soccer. I would feel a lot better if I could just fill it out a little more. And finally, the perceived hardships of having a smaller breast size wore Sarah down. It's miserable. I, I can't take it. I'm, I gotta have my boobs back. I'm done. I, I can't take this. I gotta go. Big transformation. Big one. So, you guys... The girls that got the girls <laughs> became different people, Jamie and Elizabeth. Like you guys went from uh to woo! <laughs> like really, really big difference. So when you looked in the mirror with those new boobs, what were you seeing and what made you feel so good? Jamie. I just like the fact that it made me, I, I felt like I was my age. I felt like I was a woman, not a 10 or 12 year old little girl anymore. And Sarah, you said that you looked like a lesbian. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I, I felt like I looked a little more athletic. I broad shoulders. So Just all athletes are lesbians? No curves. No. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. I, just... I do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you said it. I was just asking you what you said. Jamie and Elizabeth were convinced that they wanted the attention they thought bigger breasts would bring. Check this out. We brought our newly enhanced and newly reduced breast girls together for a mixer to decide once and for all, does size matter? The girls with the reduced breasts arrived first. And for the first time in their lives, nobody noticed them. Being on the bar like this does, I hate it. I don't really wear it because I have to make conversation myself. The boys, they're not coming up to me. I'm sitting there like actually having to try, which is really different. 
When Jamie and Elizabeth arrived with their newly enhanced assets, they caused quite a stir. Are you from D.C.? No, I'm from Ohio. I love having boobs. I love being out. It's fun. I feel a lot more confident. I just love it. <laughs> but he said, I think it's great to just be able to sit there and talk and have all this confidence and, you know, have people looking at me and paying attention to me. Where was Buffalo? Where were you from? In the city, Westlife. But were they paying attention to her for the right reasons? I, I couldn't, I couldn't stop. <laughs> when the girls finally saw each other's transformations, they gave completely honest opinions about the new looks. I think you look kind of butch in this. Okay. I think you look hot. You look really great. You look beautiful. Thank you. Do I not look like I'm like 10 years old? How many of you guys noticed a big difference with how they were acting? First of all, the girls with the they got the big boobs, Jamie and Sarah, Jamie and Elizabeth. Like it went from like I hate myself to hi, <laughs> you know. And then Sarah and Deborah, the outgoing girls that have the naturally big boobs that were bound. Sarah, you I didn't even know who you were, and it wasn't because of the boobs. It was your energy was so different. So, and, and one thing you said that struck me is you said, now I have to try. I have to use my personality. I have to try to stand out. Mm -hmm. what, did that, what did that mean? Well, typically, you know, when I walk into a bar or a club, I just walk in and next turn, and then I, I, I don't have to, you know, use my personality, my sense of humor, and, or even flash my smile sometimes. So, I mean, I, I actually had to, like, go in there and... Use and try and try. And what about you, Deborah? Because you were looking sad too. I wasn't so much sad. I mean, I felt like they paid attention to me for me, not my breasts, which was nice. But I felt the same. I feel like my beauty is on the inside and my security is on who I am as a person, not my breasts. Oh, got it. So you had a different reaction. Um, one thing that there's a stereotype about like really beautiful people. Haven't you seen in movies and TV, like the pretty girl is always like, hi, and she doesn't really have to do anything because the guys just come. <laughs> and so it's interesting that you are acknowledging that. And I think that's very brave of you and honest of you to say that, you know, you have to use a personality when really your tatas were just saying, come over here. <laughs> right. Um, we'll be right back. TV show Wife Swap. Wife Swap. You guys heard of Wife Swap? Yeah. Okay. Well, today we're we're what? We're boob swapping. <laughs> we boob swapped with best friends and with sisters. But now, now we're moving on to Daphne, and Daphne is proud, and she admits that she uses her breasts to get ahead. So, Daphne, what size breasts do you have? Um, well, Tara, I'm a 40 double D. 40 I, double yes, D. I love my breasts. I am so proud of them. They are the best thing ever besides Louis Vuitton. The best thing. I love them. <laughs> Best thing besides Louis Vuitton. Yep. Okay. And uh, so, do you use them to get what you want? I should do. Like, for example, I was at a club two weeks ago, and then some guy we were all drinking and having a good time. He's like, "Oh my gosh, your breasts are huge." I said, "I know they're mine. I live with them." He's like, "I would sign over two of my paychecks just to, you know, just so he could touch them." And we're like, "Oh, really?" And I said, "How much money you got in your wallet?" He said, "I said you could touch them, and I'll take everything you have in your wallet." So he goes and start touching and touching. And after that, he opened his wallet. He had six hundred dollars in his wallet. So he gave it to me for me letting him touch my boobs. Yeah, and then like, I've, yes, I'm not ashamed to say that. I've gotten like a lot of things from guys. Like I walk in the place, let's say for example, if I'm returning something, it's over 30 days, and the guy at the counter, and I'm like, hi, and he's like, hi. I was like, I really want to take this back, but I know it's over 30 days. And he goes, oh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But would you, would, do you think that the, the boob touching is like a soft form of prostitution? No, it's not prostitution. It's, I'm, you know, it's not like I'm going off to shoot for the second and be like, hey, you know, come and touch my boob so I could make a living. It's fun. I enjoy it, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not home for it. And I'm proud of 
you know, I'm proud of them. They're all me and they're all I have. Now so tell have me about, like, sometimes you, you, you don't have to pay your rent sometimes. No, sometimes I don't. Like, guys that I, you know, that guys that wants to talk to me and they see that I have big boobs or something, they'll be like, oh, wow, you know, you're really nice. And they're all in there looking. So I'm like, really, my rent is 